let's talk about the third wave uh will the there are fears that this new delta plus variant uh, will hasten and subsequently drive the third wave uh, even if you say uh, that there is insufficient data about the delta plus right now but do you do you when do you predict the third wave coming ma'am because many people and many scientists have said that it is inevitable that the third wave will come do you see it coming and by way okay let's forget about the delta plus let's yeah. look at the characteristics of a third wave what does the third wave need it needs for many more infections to happen when will many more infections happen many more infections will happen when many more infectious people infected infectious people come in contact with people who have not been infected and not been vaccinated right so when do you have many more infectious people when we have people who have who have gotten infected and are now encountering other people that's dependent on our behavior no masks getting out having gotten an infection and then going out and contacting other people true what mitigates spread the fact that people have been previously infected and previously vaccinated and that previous infection or vaccination protects us from having the infection or disease now all vaccines are intended to protect us from disease we know that prior infections give us pretty good protection against subsequent disease but protection against infection what allows us to spread the infection in the population is usually less than the protection against disease we know that some vaccines work better than other vaccines so for example if we take the mrna vaccines they are working very well against infection and disease the inactivated vaccines are working very well against disease but not necessarily against infection so a lot of the third wave is going to depend on the characteristics of the population and how people behave it's going to depend on how much of the population has been previously exposed to disease which we can learn from zero surveys and how much of the population has been vaccinated as soon as prior exposure climbs as soon as vaccination rates climb the circulation of the virus will decrease now if the virus evolves to become much more transmissible much more uh, virulent then we might see a third wave that will have characteristics of the second wave if that does not happen then this is going to be more like something along the lines of the first wave or less than the first wave okay. and it will be driven by behavior so in terms of when respiratory viruses spread much more in the winters and they like a drier colder climate so when we have dry cold climates and people that cluster together in places without good ventilation that's where you should expect to see and uptick in cases all right uh, so that is almost uh, you saying winters respiratory infections most viral infections tend to have a winter seasonality